The Ariane 6, Europe's next-generation heavy-lift rocket, has just achieved a monumental milestone that brings it one step closer to its maiden launch. What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the space technician. So, many of you probably know, but Ariane 6 is set to replace the retired Ariane 5. And meanwhile, Europe still has no rockets to launch. Ariane 6 will play a crucial role in maintaining Europe's independent access to space. In this video, we'll dive into the recent successful upper stage test and the upcoming maiden launch of this impressive rocket. So, let's get to it. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. On April 12, 2024, Ariane Group achieved a monumental feat by successfully completing the final hot fire test of the Ariane 6's upper stage at the German Aerospace Center, DLR, in Lampelshausen. This test was no ordinary feat, as it pushed the upper stage to its limits, subjecting it to extreme, non-nominal conditions that would make even the most seasoned rocket engineer break a sweat. During this trial, the auxiliary power unit, APU, was ignited not once, not twice, but three times, for a total duration of 66 minutes. To put that into perspective, that's like running a marathon while simultaneously juggling flaming torches. An incredible display of endurance and reliability. The test sequence also included loading the stage tanks and preparing them for launch, simulating the full gamut of challenges the upper stage will face during its actual mission. This successful test comes after a previous attempt in December 2023, which was aborted two minutes after ignition. Although neither Ariane Group nor ESA provided detailed information about the investigation into the abort, it appears that the teams have resolved the remaining issues, paving the way for the maiden launch. At the heart of this technological marvel is the Vinci engine, a true powerhouse that propels the Ariane 6 upper stage to new heights. This reignitable engine is a game-changer, providing unparalleled flexibility for a wide range of mission profiles. Whether it's placing multiple payloads into different orbits or adapting to the unique demands of each launch, the Vinci engine is the Swiss Army knife of rocket engines, ready to tackle any challenge thrown its way. But the Vinci engine isn't just flexible, it's also a beast in terms of raw power fueled by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. This engine can generate a staggering vacuum thrust of up to 180 kilonewtons. That's like having the combined strength of 18,000 professional weightlifters propelling the upper stage through the unforgiving void of space. It's a level of power that truly takes your breath away. Of course, the upper stage is just one piece of the puzzle that makes the Ariane 6 such a formidable rocket. Depending on the mission requirements, the Ariane 6 can be configured as either the A62 with two P120C solid boosters, or the A64 with four of these mighty boosters. These boosters, which have already proven their mettle on the first stage of Avio's Vega C rocket, provide the extra kick needed to lift even the heaviest payloads into orbit. It's like strapping a set of rocket-powered roller skates to an already fast sprinter. The result is nothing short of spectacular. And let's not forget about the first stage. Powered by the Vulcan 2.1 engine, this upgraded version of the legendary Vulcan 2 engine, which served the Ariane 5 so faithfully, is a testament to the continuous evolution and improvement at the heart of the Ariane program. With its increased efficiency and reliability, the Vulcan 2.1 engine is the bedrock upon which the Ariane 6's success is built. The successful hot fire test and the powerful components of the Ariane 6 come together to create a rocket that is truly in a league of its own. With its A64 configuration, the Ariane 6 can deliver a whopping 20,600 kilograms to low Earth orbit, LEO, and 11,500 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit. Or GTO. To put that into perspective, that's like launching a fully grown African elephant into space. A feat that would make even the most ambitious zookeeper do a double take. Keep in mind 
that the Ariane 6 is not a reusable rocket in the likes of Starship or Long March 10. The goal for Ariane 6 was to provide Europe its own independent access to space, not to achieve the technical marvel of reusability just yet. That is the goal of Ariane Next, also known as SALTO. Now, let's talk about the timeline for Ariane 6's maiden launch. ESA, CNES, and Ariane Group are currently targeting a launch window between June 15th and July 31st, 2024. The preparations for this historic flight are well underway at Europe's spaceport in French Guinea. In February 2024, the central core components of Ariane 6, including the main stage and upper stage, arrived at the launch site on board Ariane Group's custom-built cargo ship, Canopy. The integration of the rocket is proceeding according to plan. In March, the upper and main stages were connected to form the central core, and by April, the side boosters will be integrated at the booster finishing facility. Meanwhile, the rocket's test model, which has been used for various qualification tests over the past year, is being dismantled to make way for the final launch vehicle. As we approach the maiden launch, anticipation is building with the European space community. A successful first flight will not only validate the years of hard work and dedication put into the Ariane 6 program, but also restore Europe's autonomous access to space. This is particularly important given the increasing competition in the global launch market, with players like SpaceX and China rapidly advancing their capabilities. Looking beyond the maiden launch, ESA is already planning for the future of Ariane 6. One exciting development is the innovative Carbon Ariane Upper Stage, or Icarus, an upgraded version of the Vinci engine that aims to increase the rocket's performance. This upgrade could help Ariane 6 remain competitive in the long run, as the launch market continues to evolve. It's worth noting that Ariane 6 is not just a vital asset for Europe's space program, but also a symbol of European collaboration and innovation. The rocket is the result of cooperation between numerous countries, space agencies, and industrial partners across the continent. By pooling resources and expertise, Europe has demonstrated its ability to develop cutting-edge space technology and maintain its position as a key player in the global space arena. As we eagerly await the maiden launch of Ariane 6, it's clear that this rocket represents a new chapter in European spaceflight. With its powerful upper stage, flexible design, and impressive payload capacity, Ariane 6 is poised to become the backbone of Europe's launch capabilities for years to come. The successful upper stage test and the ongoing preparations at the launch site are testaments to the dedication and skill of the teams working tirelessly to make this vision a reality. Of course, there will be challenges along the way. The global launch market is becoming increasingly competitive, with new players emerging and established providers constantly innovating. To stay ahead, Europe will need to continue investing in research and development, fostering collaboration between the public and private sectors, and adapting to the changing landscape of the space industry. But if the history of European spaceflight has taught us anything, it's that the continent has the resilience, ingenuity, and determination to overcome obstacles and push the boundaries of what's possible. With Ariane 6, Europe is once again demonstrating its commitment to space exploration and its ability to develop world-class technology. So, as we count down to the maiden launch of Ariane 6, let's celebrate this milestone and the future it represents for European spaceflight. Stay tuned to The Space Technician by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell for more updates on this exciting development and other fascinating stories from the world of space exploration. As always, thanks for watching, spacers. This is The Space Technician, signing off for now. And I'll see you, space cowboys, in the next one.